Hey guys, January 2nd, 2012, Monday night, 8.30. We're doing our testing today. We got a big, big test out today because we got, we got Frank Espinosa, Napoleon Villaboa. We got, uh, Caesar, uh, they're testing for Blue Belt. Caesar Jordan's testing for Purple Belt. And Shaba Bonus, the showstopper. He's, he's, he's testing for his Brown Belt today. You can see we got a big group in the house. Everybody check out the sparring that's going on. Got the action going on this side of the room. Check it out. Then we got the action going on in the cage. You follow me. And we also got the action going on in the ring as well. Time!
for a very long time, and he's gone through some wars. I know I've personally seen him fight against guys like Adron, and he's grinding it out, and, and he's, one thing I know that Caesar is, is that he's a survivor. It's, it's very hard to, get Caesar, to see Caesar get tapped. Like, he doesn't give up for anything. He sticks in there and fights a good fight. Right? And that's why he's coming up and he's getting his purple belt. Fought for us, put his blood and sweat in the line, in the ring, in the cage. Shaw's been representing us around the world. Okay, he's one of our top top guys. I uh, just scored a big knockout over uh, one of the founding head instructors of American Top Team, one of the black belts there, Pompinia. Okay, big victory for Shaw. It's been a great year, super consistent. His wrestling, his boxing, his, his jiu jitsu, everything has been coming together very nicely, which is why today he's being awarded with his brown belt. Yay! Yeah. Ready? Here we go, stay there. 
Which one I like this one? The rock box! Hey! Hey! lights up here. This is for the guys that promoted today. Alright. Lit up and everything. Okay? Got plenty of champagne for everybody. We reserve the bottle of Dombo for the guys that got promoted today. Okay? Nice guys. The glow in the dark bottle. Dude, that's cool. That's all right. Bobby. Gentlemen, I want to give a toast to you guys. For you guys, next stop purple. Next stop is brown. And for you, black belt's next stop. No, UFC next year. Yup, no. UFC, baby. Okay? Salud. Salud, guys. Salud. Great Salud. job. How's it going? My name is Napoleon Villaboa. Just got my blue belt today. I owned it. I ended up breaking my, my knuckle. Been training about, I would say, about two years now. Been coming here about two years. A lot of hard work, a lot of sweating, a lot of injuries. Just say. Man, it's just, it just feels good to come here and leave home tired, happy, sweating. Sometimes it's my blood on me, sometimes it's somebody else's. But it doesn't matter, everybody picks you up, helps you up, you leave with a smile, you leave with some self purpose, accomplishment. Just a smile on my face that just won't go away. Wait. How you guys doing? My name is Frank Espinosa. I am a police officer with the city of Miami. And what it means to get my blue belt, it's a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, tears, put on this mat, and everything I work for, it really feels good to get my blue belt. Um, it really gives me confidence to go out there, just do my job, knowing that I uh, will be able to defend myself uh, for anything that comes my way. Uh, coach. My name is Susan Jordan. I've been training with Freestyle Fighting Cameron for five years. Uh, Purple Belt means a lot to me because it's been four years of hard work and training and competition. Freestyle Fight Academy means a lot to me because uh, it's a well-rounded school. It has everything that encompasses kickboxing, striking, and jiu-jitsu. Uh, I welcome everybody to come to the gym and try it out for themselves. How are you guys doing? Shovel bonus here. I've been training since about late 2006. Um, you know, here at FFA, been through a lot. I've got about 20 professional fights uh, between the ones that are sanctioned, show up on a database, and, and the ones that don't. Probably over 20 fights. Uh, it's been a journey that I've taken with, with all my family here at FFA, Master Marcos, uh, Master David. You know, they've been in my corners for a lot of battles, and it means a lot. You know, uh, there's nothing like the type of bond that that you develop with with people when you go in the battle and you put your life on the line in the cage. And uh, having these guys in my corner means the world to me. Uh, I'm really proud to, proud to be a brown belt, and I can't wait to get my black and get in the UFC next year. You guys, watch out for me. Shop and bonus, the showstopper, baby. Coming to uh, video screen near you. All right, peace.